What's happening, people? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog out during whips. Today we are. What's up, guys? With him. How you guys doing? We are with him again. So today is the day where we're gonna be working on the alpha again. And uh, so, as you guys already know, that I made a video a long time ago, and we did that cheap way to turn off the traction control on the alpha. If you guys don't know, I'll put a, a link in the description so you could go check it out how we turned off the traction control off on the Alpha Romeo Julia without installing this button right here so as I said the video was actually pretty scary <laughs> not scary actually it was pretty funny funny and long and long <laughs> yes really definitely good yeah you just like <laughs> definitely go check it out because like you learn a lot from that okay so today's the day we're gonna be installing this button because we don't want to be doing the cheap way turning off traction control on this car we don't have enough time to install it and uh code the button in with the car so we're gonna install it today and then code on uh, code the button in tomorrow and uh, I'll explain everything step to step so just bear with me and stay with me so the first thing you guys need is the flathead screwdriver so I got the small one you could use any so first thing you're gonna need is to remove this part right here so I'm gonna remove this first then I'm gonna have to pull this whole panel out like this whole panel is gonna come out and then uh, there's like three screws right here under this thing you open those up and you just put the uh, other button in and just screw it back on and that's how easy it is just make sure when you uh, pull this panel out it has like three uh, it has like three wire connectors one for this one and one for this actually it might have four I don't know it might have three to three or four because like one two three four is supposed to have four but I don't know if it's gonna have four or three no, I well, think this is all one it's connected uh, this is separate disconnected and this is one okay we'll find out yeah. but yeah so you only need to remove this part right here and I'm gonna show you right now how and then you remove this part right here and then basically you just install your new uh, button Race motor which is right over here here so this is how it's gonna look well, I don't know if you can see see the race mode baby and that's how it looks right now see the difference yep see we can go R for race mode then oh yeah we're gonna be racing so you get your screwdriver and you just push it in right here and you do like slightly see it came out right so like it just that pops right out. It pops right out and just pull it with your hand come on buddy and just you just like, want to be as gentle as you see that so just be as gentle as you can because like these are gonna break and it's gonna be rattling if your car is too loud and stuff so then next for this one to remove this you put your hand under it right here this is where you start first then you just work your way through easy but easy let's pull this thing out and give her stuff right no, it's like you have to put both them at the same time together there's no way to all right guys, so after you guys open this up, right, the, the middle thingy, so after that, it took us like, what, 50 yeah, minutes? 30 minutes, yeah. <laughs> After 50 minutes, 50, yeah. yeah. So this thing was actually a bitch to get the shit out, okay. So it was like really hard to put your fingers under it right here and uh, to get it out and like my fingers are all messed up right here. You see, you see the Fucking hard hurts, work. Huh? That yeah, fucking hurts. So okay, so basically you just put your fingers up in here, like down there, basically, and you just pull it out. Now we're gonna work work your ba uh, way back. Just work your way back. Yeah, hold it. I'm gonna show you guys how. So first, this comes out like that. Just be gentle with it. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Fucking hurts. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have your hand under it. I'm gonna try to set up the camera somewhere so So once this thing is all the way out so you just do it so you just gotta pull it out, like see, 
How is it coming out? I'll just come right out. But I don't know if it's gonna come right out or it's gonna be a bitch. It actually should come right out, but I don't know why it's not. I'm not sure if it's connected to this, yeah. but we're gonna find out. So, uh, yep, so we don't need to take this thing out and the one in the back, the one that holds your parking brake. So, after you got this part out, it was actually a bitch as you guys already seen. So once you got this part out, all you gotta do is disconnect the, the connectors under this one and under the volume button. So then you get that thing out and this will come right out. Let me show you. Finally, got one part out. Okay, so it was the, see that red clip? You just pull it back and uh, press it in and pull it back, it'll come right out. Okay, so this one is out. We didn't have to take this out, but it's out, so. Put that outside. And now we're gonna do the two uh, 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 connectors that we have under here. The volume and the main button that we're gonna remove. What we do here is go back, 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 back. this clip right here so I don't know if you can see it see see this you gotta press this and and pull it out so press this part right here and and pull it out it'll come right out so it's actually it actually has like one two three four five connectors this is for your uh, e-brake and this is for your the button that we're gonna change and that's for the main the menu button that we have okay so now we're gonna do is uh, unbolt these three uh, bolts right here and then the buttons are gonna come right out and then we're gonna put the race mode in race mode baby the race mode <laughs> all right grab a all right so to open these three uh, screws right here you're gonna need the t20 that's gonna look something like this yeah. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this, and uh, yeah, let's get these motherfuckers out. Make sure you don't lose them, cause like, you're gonna need the same three screws on the new one. <laughs> Okay, okay. You got it. Okay, there. This fucker, he said don't lose me, he just loses one right away. 
Look at his dumb ass ready to reference. <laughs> Shit, bro. Oh, well, finally got this sucker out. Hey, let me know if you guys want to buy this, bro. I'll give it to you for free. Oh, yeah. D just DNA. <laughs> just DNA. <laughs> Let's just get the sucker in. Like that. Let's see if it looks good. Oh, yeah, baby. Right? Right? Yeah. Yep. You only broke that for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just turn it up now. Bolt it up. Bolt, bolt, bolt it up. Bolt, 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 bolt up. Let's fucking go do some donuts. Actually, not really. We're gonna. Ah! Alright, so once you got the screws in, all you gotta do is just tighten them up as he's doing them. And uh, then you just plug it in, and uh, then you gotta code the button in with the car. So today we don't have really have any time. It's already like dark, like 10 o'clock, and uh, we're so tired. And uh, he's gotta go to school for his Zoom classes and stuff. And I gotta go to work tomorrow or tonight, right now. And uh, so we're gonna get back together on this probably by tomorrow or something. And I'll get back to you. But till that, I'm gonna show you how to uh, work your way back. So I'm gonna just time lapse it because I'm not gonna explain it. You can just all just go back and watch the video. Took us like what? I would say 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, just I mean, the hassle this hassle. was the main part that took forever to get out. But we're just trying to be gentle with it because we don't want to break it. And uh, yep, let's start up the car now. That uh, already looks good. Oh, I love the suspension sign right there. I know, but it's not gonna go down. It's not a quadrifolia, bro. Cold start, bro. Let's get it. Yeah. Hey, that's like the worst sound I ever heard. Nah, it sounds pretty good. All right, so, any signs? Uh, shift your door, shift your door. No. Yep, no signs at all. So, all right, so that's a sign of a victory. <laughs> victory. All right, so now we're gonna come back tomorrow and install it. See, let's go to dynamic. It's working. Turn off your light. Just like <laughs> let's try going to race mode. I don't think it was gonna go. No? See, so he's not gonna do anything. Yeah, so you gotta code that shit in to make it work. All right, you guys. So, yep, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. All right, guys. So we are back. <laughs> the next day. It's actually not the next day. It's like after five days. Okay, he's back here in my garage with his car. And uh, so yeah, to in, in order to code that button in. You need this uh, OBD scanner thingy or OBD scanner that could connect to your computer wire thingy. It's gonna come with a button if you want to buy it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. This is how it looks like. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what, what this is, but like it's gonna come with your button, right? And then you gotta buy this uh, software that's gonna cost you around 70 to 80 dollars to code your uh, the race button into the car. And we're gonna uh, tell you step by step how to do it. So let's get it i'm not sure how to do it so he's gonna explain it to you guys but and also you need these extra cables on the side i'm gonna show you right now these are extra cables that you guys need the blue and the gray the and blue the and the gray what do you use these for uh, to use the code you have to code it in with that that's just and to connect it but well, that's just to connect the wire yeah. with the computer or the car with the computer and this is to code in yeah. okay all right and what is this adapters that's just called just both the same? Yeah, different ones. I mean... Just different color? Yeah. Okay, alright. So, we're gonna explain you how to do it now. Hey guys. So, obviously, the first thing first, you gotta connect that wire to your computer and your OBD cable. And make sure to have your car on the auxiliary power. And before connecting it, you have to make sure your car settings on your required car, which is Alfa Romeo, and you have to collect, I mean, select the exact motor 
of your car, so it's going to be 16 well 2.0 multi. That's what we have. Yeah. Okay. And you have to check in the system that it's under body, and it should be can set up proxy alignment. That's where it's going to start the whole process. So make sure that your all our settings are defaulted, like on just like this. And then basically, right. when you have everything selected, you just go on the right corner at the bottom, and you see connect. Mm -hmm. Make sure your car's auxiliary power on. All these settings are selected, and just press connect. All right, you're good to go. So press connect, and then this is gonna come up. Connecting yeah. to the ACU. Connection failed. Why is that? Key must be on. I think the key is now on. We're gonna try to do it again, so. Okay. It's not connecting. Okay, so we're gonna figure out and get back to you guys. Hold on. Alright, guys. So, uh, so we, as you guys already know, that the connection came up failed, and uh, I'm super sleepy because I was working last night. So, uh, we try to connect it, but it's not connecting to the ECU for some reason. And uh, we tried like a million times already. And so since it's not connecting, so I'm gonna just let you guys know how to uh, install the button. And we're not gonna uh, code it with the ECU. We'll make another video coding that into the ECU and uh, we'll burn some tires. But today is the day that you're gonna have to just deal with the button only. And yep, that's it for today's video guys. Peace out. We'll see you next video. Next video probably is gonna be on the F30. Hopefully, I'm you know as I, as you guys already know I'm I say something else and do something else. But yeah. So yep. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Make sure to subscribe.